Hi guys, it's Carlos, the Ultimate Fitness Training once again, and thank you so much for watching the video. And today we're doing a video on how to avoid stagnation. Now, I'm going to give you five points to help you to avoid stagnation. Now, number one is watch what you're doing to your body. Okay, now what I mean by that is we all have goals and we all have obviously targets to hit. Um, but we also have to watch what we do into our bodies. Now, let's say you're very committed to your training, you, you go 100 miles an hour, you, you, you're dieting, you, you, obviously you are a mother, you're a dad, or, or guys that haven't got no kids, so obviously you've got a lot of busy lifestyle, so you get really stressed out with your work, so you've got loads of plates spinning. Now, this can sometimes overwhelm us, okay? Now, we all have our stresses, regardless of who we are, um, whether we're busy or not busy, we all have our stresses, and many of us deal with stress very, very, very different to others, okay? Now, what I mean by that, watch what you do to your body, is listen to your body. Now, if you begin to train, and you start getting a bit tired, and you get overwhelmed with, with, with the physicality of it, and you get you begin to kind of get over, you know, over exhausted. The best advice I can give you is to listen to your body. Okay, now once you start listening to your body, okay, you then start taking the feedback. So your body's communicating with you. So you are, if you're overdoing it, okay, your body's telling you, listen, you've got to probably slow down. Now, if you start listening to your body, things don't happen the wrong way. Now, if you're failing to listen to your body, then obviously you're gonna start, obviously, crashing. And once you start crashing, then bad things happen. Okay, now, number two is gonna to lead to what I'm gonna to say to you guys is, vary your training, so avoid crashing. Okay, now, too many people do the same things day in, day out, day in, day out, and it gets boring okay now once it gets boring but you're constantly hitting the same muscle groups hard and heavy and it gets really stagnated now that can cause a lot of injury a lot of inflammation uh, a lot of tendon, tendon tears and muscle fiber tears which not just from an abolism point of view it's not in terms of growth point of view it can be chronic it can be kind of like the, the inflammation you get in joints that can cause a lot of different type of um, of injuries to your joints, into your muscles, into your ligaments and tendons in connective tissue. So it's very important for you to recycle your training and vary your training. Now, one thing I can advise you, and I do this myself. Now, I give you an example. I do functional training. I do weightlifting. I do powerlifting. I do um, aerobic exercise. I do fat burning. I do body weight exercises, and that's in every single day, um, every single week. So I vary my training. So I don't do one particular training predominantly, just one. So I do various training. So that makes my body kind of all this constantly guessing. So there's not really a, a constant pattern. The pattern is your stimulation. There's a pattern that I've got is stimulation. So that really helps. Now, number three is vary your foods. Okay, now by varying your foods, but keeping your macros the same way, so you've got whatever um, um, diet you've got prescribed by your trainer, a dietitian, or, or whether you're following something, uh, make sure you kind of vary your proteins. For instance, like I go from 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 varying like my carbs, so sweet potato and, sweet, and, and, um, and brown rice, uh, and then sometimes I put some like uh, different veg, veg there, so I, I, I vary from kale to watercress, um, and say cucumber. I have cucumber every single day, but that's the only thing that kind of stays still. But uh, the, the, the rest of the vegetables are kind of vary. The proteins are the turkey, chicken, and tilapia, which is a lean fish. And I also do sometimes salmon and, and tuna. However, I don't really like tuna. But anyway, I do have it sometimes because for, for obvious reasons, um, it's obviously a protein source. So vary your diets, okay? Vary the times you train and the times you you eat as well. So there's not a constantly stagnation of foods and also the amount of calories you're having as well. So sometimes you may have, for the guys that are not competing, you may have high lows, high low um, carb days and stuff like that. So number four, make sure you stick to it, but make sure you also give yourself days off. Now days off, for instance, yesterday was my day off, okay? I didn't go to the gym. 
but I still, I still done my power walk. But you know, while doing power walk, okay, uh, I kind of like break the routine to what I normally do, which is in the gym first or power walk first and then sprints. But I didn't do no sprints today, so I just done power walk. I done a video for you guys, um, so I can go to the gym. Uh, I didn't even do abs yesterday, for instance. But uh, so I kind of like gave myself a bit of a rest, and that really helps you and helps me become our greatest version. So just give yourself a bit of variation. So some days just have a complete day off. Listen to your body every day off. Now, there's a fine line, and this is what I'm gonna do a video about. There's a fine line between dedication and stubbornness, okay? Very, very, very close, sort of, if you like, um, connection. So a lot of people are dedicated, but dedicated people listen, okay? Now, stub stubborn people, it can be mistaken by dedication, but they're just stubborn. So if they miss a session, they go, oh my God, it's the end of the world. No, that's just because you're just stubborn. You're stuck in that way. So people are dedicated. They listen sometimes. I miss a session, that's fine. Tomorrow I'll work extra hard. Okay, so you've got to know the difference between the two. Okay, now, number five is listen to good advice in order to stop you from getting stagnated. So make sure you guys do your own research. Now, as you guys know, I, I, I mean, the guys are probably listening to this video, okay? I do know a lot about training, nutrition, supplementation, coaching, psychology, but I do not know it all. And I, I do my own research, okay? Now, if you guys don't want to listen to people that have been in the industry for whatever years they have, just do your own research. Okay, do your research, but make sure that research is, is, is pure research so they know what they're talking about, okay? So once you become educated on that, then it can obviously help you guys save you a long, long road of mistakes. So with all that said, guys, here we are. Five steps for you guys. And basically, you know where to, where to find me on Instagram, Color Strength 10, on my website, which is ultimatefitnesstrainer.co.uk, and also on my YouTube channel, which is Color Strainer. So, Thank you so much for listening to me, and before we go, stay happy, stay healthy, stay fit, have a beautiful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye now.